So although Bitcoin has been dropping lower, Ethereum has shown some signs of strength and held up quite a bit while Bitcoin has been dropping a lot more. So it hasn't been dropping as much as Bitcoin over this last few days. Let's take a look at the chart and see why I believe that it's only a matter of time before Ethereum hits new all time highs. So if we look at the Bitcoin chart, as you guys know, Bitcoin and Ethereum charts are usually pretty similar, but you'll see that it's a little bit different right now. So right now this is the Bitcoin chart and now this is the Ethereum chart. So you can see here that Bitcoin has set up a new low, right? So this is lower than its previous low over here. Even though this is very short time frame, you can see that the pullback has been a lot harder over here on Bitcoin. And now this is the pullback on Ethereum. It's around 11. So the pullback on Bitcoin is around 13 and a half percent pullback on Ethereum is around 11%. You also see that it hasn't set lower low below this level. So if we look at that same one on Bitcoin on the 22nd, you'll see that the 22nd on Bitcoin is right here. We've already gone lower than that. And Ethereum has not gone lower than that this is where we currently are. So what this basically is telling me is that it's ready to go right 4000 is a strong support here now we did close below 4000 today it was just a red day across the markets bitcoin dropped down back under 60000 for the first time in a bit right so i'm not going to lie bitcoin could definitely have some challenges under 60k because remember 60k is a big support and resistance level now that we close below it we have to see what happens while Ethereum is still right there on the brink of 4000. As long as Bitcoin stops pulling it down, we should break up back above 4000 soon and, you know, possibly run back up. You can see that yesterday we ran up as high as forty three hundred dollars before, you know, Bitcoin started to drag us back down. So right now, the pattern that we have here is pretty much, you know, some sort of bull flag here. It looks like, you know, we could have, we might have broken down under that bull flag, but you can kind of draw it like this too. You could also draw kind of the, um, the range that it's been kind of trading in. So if this is the range, then that would mean that we're at the bottom of the range right now and we're due for a bounce back up. So bounce up would put us at the previous all time high. And I believe that if we hit all time high, we're probably going to break it this time. We saw that we got rejected here once we hit it, but it is possible to get rejected again, bounce back on the bottom of this one more time and then take off. Now, what could those targets be in that scenario? Well, we could pull out our Fibonacci extension tool and kind of get an idea of what the targets may be here. So some possible extensions here, it would say if we broke above this level here, our first target here would probably be $5,000 basically here, right? It's, it's 49.24 ish is where it's at. I, I call it 5,000. Second target would be up here. That's right around 5,800. Third target up here. That's around 6,350. And then the final target is right here. And that's around 7,200. So those are some possible targets there if we break out and above this previous all time high. Um, once we get into price discovery, those will be some of the possible price targets that we could aim for. So I know it's been a red week so far, but look for a possible bounce here, maybe on Friday. Let's see. We'll see what happens. But maybe on Friday morning, we can see something. And then on Monday to kick off November, we can we might see a big green day. Let's see. Let's see how we close for the rest of the month, you know, the rest of this week. And uh, let's see how we open on Monday. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications. Don't forget, of course, to smash the like button. And if you have any questions, drop it in the comments. I'll see you guys on the next one. As always, peace and love.